Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, there are a few comments about the um, the list of problems that we see in 24H2 with software and hardware, and uh, of course, uh, there's a lot of it that um, you know it's it's you're wondering you know is there lack of communication between Microsoft and the manufacturers of either the software or hardware. Um, Especially when it's something bigger, you know, because if it's a little piece of software that's not used much and, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult to, you can't be 100% on everything. Uh, that's impossible. And often software from small manufacturers will pretty go pretty much go under the radar. But there are cases where, you know, like the um, Intel Smart Sound Technology thing. Uh, there's a few things like that from bigger companies. I mean, that driver is widespread and once again you know you go back when i ranted about the fact that the um, windows insider program should go back to a slow and fast speed and nothing more and make sure that we test properly because i mean all of these problems were reported by insiders so, um, you know, the, the smart sound insiders started saying, hey, there's, you know, a problem uh, with that. The um, fingerprint sensor is not working. The uh, easy and tight cheat blue screens. I mean, those appeared before 24H2 was an official release. And you kind of tell yourself, well, you know, did Microsoft wait until, you know, just turn kind of a blind eye and, and wait until everybody starts reporting a problem. It is difficult to understand how some of these things, that, I mean, use, just look at the anti-cheat blue screen. Fortnite is not a small thing. Fortnite is huge. Why is that a problem after release when it probably was a problem before release? Uh, integrated cameras. I'm sure somebody with an insider build somewhere looked at it and said, hey, my internal camera doesn't work. And, um, you know, voice meter. Why did that appear after? It is question, you know, th these are questions that we got to ask ourselves. Uh, one of the posts saying, well, you know, is there a lack of communication? It's kind of a little dumb that, you know, companies and businesses find out that their drivers and their software and their hardware has a problem with 24H2 after the release rather than knowing before so they have time to fix it. So that definitely, um, of course, once again, you know, we got to think about the fact that Windows is a very unique piece of software and compare that to, um, to a Mac. Uh, it is something that definitely is um, a, um, you know, has to work on millions and billions of configurations, which is just very unique. But I don't know. Uh, it's kind of uh, kind of sad to see that. Uh, indeed, some manufacturers just arrived to the fact that, oh, my software needs to have an update to continue working because I didn't know that, you know, they were going to change this or that. Um, especially, once again, I talk about insiders a lot because I'm always thinking that if the Windows Insider program would work correctly, this would be fixed before release. And evidently, it's not. So, once again, kind of goes to me and say, Windows Insider program is useless. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.